is somebody in the body of Jesus. Everybody is somebody in the body of Jesus. Joy. Hello, it's great to be with you again. Oh, Wally, what's happened to your arm? Oh no, Wally, you fell off the roundabout at the park and you fell on his arm. I bet it really did hurt, Wally. Oh, poor thing. Did someone come and help you, though? No! You mean you'd fallen off the roundabout, you were injured on the floor and no one came to help you? Oh, Wally, that must have been really horrible. Oh, have you ever needed help and there's not been anyone there to help? Have you ever been in that situation? Or perhaps you've been the one who wanted to help and you couldn't for some reason when you saw someone in need. But I know actually that Welly, most people and all of us who are watching are the kind of people who want to be there to help, to do something. So I suspect that at school you will have helped someone when they were sad and on their own. Or maybe you've given your brother or sister a big hug when they've been upset. And actually, in the Bible, in the Gospels, it does tell us lots of times that when Jesus was on earth, Jesus is God's son, he helps people in need. So can we think, Welly, of some times when Jesus helped people? That's right. When people had hurt themselves, just like Welly's hurt his arm, Jesus would help people who were sick or poorly or unwell and actually Jesus healed people didn't he he made them better on the spot who else does Jesus help that's right Jesus saw things didn't he I was inter I'm interested that in the Gospels Jesus is often followed by lots and lots of people there's a big crowd of people around him but yet he still notices the one that one person who's got a need. So he would perhaps see the lonely person or the stranger who doesn't know anybody or the homeless, the person who doesn't have a house. So even in the big crowds, Jesus sees the one. He's got eyes that have supernatural sight. They see things, they see the need. That's fantastic. So there are a few examples, aren't they? of ways that Jesus helped. But I've actually asked Naomi to come in today and to tell us some of the ways that she's seen people have needs around the world, because Naomi's had been blessed with traveling, and how that people have been able to help in different situations. You know, we can all make a difference, every one of us. The children you see on the picture here are in Mozambique. And they're children just like you. They love to play. They love to climb trees. They love games. They really love chocolate, sweets, and chicken, and all the sugary drinks they're not meant to have, but just love. They love to come and meet new people. And as you see in this picture, their clothes have got holes in them. You know, they're the clothes they wear every single day. And sometimes those clothes aren't quite right for the weather. If it's raining, they don't have a raincoat or wellies to put on. Or if it's really hot, they still have that jumper. Very different from maybe you and I that have lots of clothes to choose from. On this picture are children in India. And you can see they look really happy. And they're saying a big thank you to Jesus for their lunch. They love having a school lunch. Maybe some of you have school lunches. These children, that lunch might be the only food they get because at home, maybe there's no food in the house. So when they come to school, they get a good meal. You know, life is a little bit different for some people than, than it is for us. And Jesus talks about in the Bible, if somebody's hungry, then we should share and give them some food. If somebody needs a drink, we should give them some water or a drink. 
You know, here in Sheffield, we might not know many people who are really hungry or, or need a drink. You know, there are some and we can definitely share and help them. But there's lots of ways we can really love people who maybe haven't got the same things we have. You know, for a few years, um, some of my friends and I, we would go to one of the parks in Sheffield and we would spend some time with some children who were from the Roma community, a part of Europe, who they now live here in Sheffield. And oftentimes we'd be playing on the park and sometimes one of the children would come and they'd have a pain in their leg because maybe they fell off their bike earlier or their hand was hurting them. And they quickly learned that Jesus loved to heal them as my friends would pray for them and ask Jesus to heal the part of the body that hurt. And Jesus would heal them. And then they would do the same with their friends. When a friend came with a pain in their body, they would pray to Jesus and it would get healed. You know, there's lots of ways we can love people really, really well. And, you know, all of our situations are different. And so when we see someone hungry, we can give them some food. Maybe there's some children who don't have toys. Maybe we could share our toys. And there's always ways we can love people well. What amazing examples that Naomi's given us there of how we're able to help and how actually we've all got a job of helping to bring God's kingdom here on earth and make a difference to people. And actually, Naomi might have been in, in Mozambique and in India and in other exciting places, but we can do that right where we are, where we live, all of the time, every single day, we can make a difference. And what's this, Wally? What have you brought a blanket for? Oh, okay. So Wally has been listening really careful, carefully to what we've been saying, and Wally has seen a need earlier on today when Wally was coming in, and he saw someone who was homeless. And you're thinking, Wally, that you'd like to give this blanket or see if the person wants the blanket to keep them warmer this evening on this chilly night. Fantastic. And we'll go together to do that because it's important we don't go on our own. We'll go together, we'll talk to the person, we'll offer them a blanket and we'll tell them we're going to pray for them because that's really important. In Matthew chapter 25, verse 40, Jesus says something really surprising. He says it to the people, says that the people who have helped those in need, he says, I tell you the truth, when you did it to one of the least of these, my brothers and sisters, you were doing it to me. <laughs> Jesus says that in helping others, it's the same as helping him. God's kingdom is one of justice and fairness and wholeness for absolutely everyone. So let's all try to play our part to make sure that everyone knows that God loves them. So we invite you to do that, to join in with what God's doing here on earth. Bring his kingdom here on earth. Have fun doing that this week. Bye for now. Come set your rule and reign in our hearts again. Increase in us, we pray. Unveil why we're made. Come set our hearts ablaze with hope, like wildfire in our very souls. Holy Spirit, come invade us now. church we need your power in us we seek your kingdom first we hunger and we thirst refuse to waste our lives for your our joy and prize to see the captive hearts released the hurt the sick the poor